Hey everybody. So in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to get a brand new computer with Windows 11 Home in S mode out of S mode without the need for a Microsoft account and without the need to even connect to the internet to set up your computer. So this is not a brand new computer but what I have done is I have set up Windows 11 on this machine to simulate a new computer that came with Windows 11 Home in S mode pre-installed. So, for example, we're in the setup for Windows 11. So, for example, I'll run through this. So, one thing you might notice right away when you set up your brand new computer with Windows 11 Home is you don't have the option to bypass the internet connectivity requirement. Now, a workaround for that is to use the command prompt, but when you're in S mode, normally when you press Shift F10, nothing happens because in S mode, there is no command prompt option. So, we are definitely in S mode. Just trust me on this. We are in S mode right now. Because, for example, if uh, you, know, you can't get into command prompt. <clears throat> that being said, Let's go ahead and go to the process of how to get out of S mode. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just turn this computer off. It's going to shut down. Your computer might instead go to sleep. In that case, you may have to just hard reset it. All right, so we're going to start this back up. And what you have to do here is we're going to force this computer into recovery mode. And I'm just going to reset it. You can press Control Delete and that may work. Otherwise, you may have to power off the system hard and restart it. It'll take about two tries. Might take three tries. What we're looking for is performing automatic repair. Okay, so what's going to happen now is the computer is going to start up and it's going to run through a little check to see why your computer did not successfully start. This might take a moment. And once it's finished, it will ask you what to do. Alright, so now we're going to click Advanced Options. We'll go to Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options again and launch command prompt. Okay, in the command prompt we're going to type reg edit. As you can see, reg edit. Press enter. This brings up the registry editor. We're going to select HKEY local machine and we're going to go to file and we're going to choose load hive. Let's click on this PC, go up to local disk C, double click Windows, System32, Config, and then we're going to select System. And we're going to call this Windows. Select OK. Now we're going to expand our folder here for HK Local Machine. We're going to expand Windows. We're going to do Control Set 001. Open Control. And we're going to expand CI. And we're going to expand Config. Or excuse me, Policy. So, HK Local Machine, Windows, Control Set 001, Control CI, Policy. And you can see SKU policy required is set to 1. We want to make sure that is set to 0. So we're going to double click it. And we'll change that to 0. We'll select OK. Now we're going to go ahead and close our folders here. With HK Local Machine selected, we're going to go to File and choose, actually, excuse me, we'll go to Windows. Now we're going to go to Unload Hive. 
and click yes. <clears throat> All right, so that's step one to get out of S mode. We're gonna close the registry editor and we're gonna close command prompt. Okay, so the next step is you're gonna to need to enter your UAFI SEP utility and turn off secure boot. Now, there's two ways you can do that. Number one is by pressing a hotkey on your keyboard. It depends on your model of machine. Sometimes it's delete, sometimes it's escape, sometimes it's F1, sometimes it's F2, sometimes it's F10, sometimes it's F12. But the other option is, since you're already in the Windows recovery environment, we'll just go to Troubleshoot, go to Advanced Options, and go to UEFI Firmware Settings and then click on restart and then your computer should go into the UEFI SEP utility. Okay, now we're in UEFI setup. So the UEFI SEP utility or BIOS SEP utility is going to vary between computer to computer. So this UEFI is pretty rich in options because it's actually a retail motherboard and not an OEM system. OEM computers can be very bland and basic, but you're generally going to look for a security tab or security option. And then inside there, you're going to look for secure boot. You can see secure boot is currently enabled. We're going to disable that. So secure boot is now disabled. And we're going to exit the UEFI SEP utility. And on some computers like HP, it might prompt you to press a three digit number like a certain number it'll display on the screen, it'll tell you to press in, type in that number and then press enter to confirm your settings. So on this one, we're just gonna click exit and it should not do anything else. So click exit, save changes and exit. And we're gonna exit setup. Again, these options depend from utility to utility. So what's gonna happen now is it's gonna boot back into the out-of-box setup utility. Okay, now that we're back in the OOB setup, we're gonna go and attempt to go into command prompt by pressing Shift and F10 at the same time. And you can see that command prompt has popped up this time. So we are now out of S mode. Thank goodness. Okay, so now let's attempt to bypass the internet connectivity requirement. So I'm going to type in OOBE backslash bypass NRO. And the computer is going to restart. Okay, we are back yet again in OOBE setup. So now we're going to click on yes for our country and region. You may have to select a different country. Select yes for us anyway. Skip. And now we can bypass the internet connectivity requirement by selecting I don't have internet. Continue with limited setup. Now it's going to type in our name. Skip that. Unless you want to put a password in. I'm going to turn all these off, every one of them, except, and now we'll press Control Delete. Select Task Manager. This will get us to the desktop a little quicker. And I'm actually going to turn off OneDrive setup because I do not want OneDrive on this thing. Right click and choose Disable. And in just a moment, the desktop will pop up and it will take a moment to load the taskbar. So, okay, so our taskbar is now loaded. So, this is how you can get out of S mode on a brand new Windows 11 PC that came with Windows 11 Home in S mode. It's how you get out of S mode and also how to bypass the internet connectivity requirement to set up your computer. So, if you're in a situation where you don't have internet access or you don't want to connect to internet to set up your computer, you don't have to. So, Hopefully this is helpful. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. 
Thanks for watching this video from QCareer Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of a new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends to get the word out. In addition, I have a second YouTube channel that's QCompMTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.